More than 50% of adults over age 40 struggle with a hidden heart condition that makes simple tasks feel exhausting. You know the feeling. Walking upstairs leaves you winded. Carrying groceries becomes a challenge. Even getting dressed in the morning feels harder than it used to. Your doctor might dismiss it as normal aging, but your daily life tells a different story. The thing is, much of this breathlessness stems from specific changes in your heart that most people never hear about. In this video, you'll uncover seven hidden reasons why older adults become breathless, and what each one reveals about your health. The heart muscle change that affects nearly half of seniors, but is often mistaken for a lung issue. The silent blood vessel shift that quietly lowers your cardiovascular reserve without you realizing it. And the key warning signs that help you tell the difference between normal aging and conditions that demand medical attention. If you enjoy this video, remember to click subscribe and turn notifications on to ensure you see our future videos. Sarah, a 68-year-old grandmother, noticed she could no longer keep up with her grandchildren at the park. What she didn't know was that her heart muscle had become stiffer over the years, making it harder for her heart chambers to fill with blood properly. This condition is called diastolic dysfunction. Your heart muscle loses its ability to relax between beats, which means less blood gets pumped with each heartbeat. When your body needs more oxygen during activity, your stiff heart can't keep up. The result is that everyday tasks become exhausting because your tissues aren't getting enough oxygen-rich blood. This also explains why you might feel tired even when you're resting. Have you noticed that activities you used to do easily now leave you breathless? But this stiffness problem gets worse when combined with what happens to your blood vessels. Think of young, healthy arteries like rubber bands that stretch and snap back with each heartbeat. As you age, these arteries become more like stiff pipes that can't expand and contract smoothly. This arterial stiffness forces your heart to work much harder to push blood through your system. Your heart muscle has to generate more pressure with each beat, which is exhausting work. Over time, this extra workload makes your heart less effective at pumping blood to your lungs and the rest of your body. When you try to exercise or even walk quickly, your stiff arteries can't deliver the extra blood flow your muscles need. This creates that frustrating feeling of running out of breath during activities that used to be easy. Your cardiovascular reserve drops significantly because your whole circulatory system becomes less flexible and responsive. The next problem makes this even more complicated. Your heart relies on chemical signals called beta-adrenergic responses to speed up when you need more blood flow. As you age, your heart becomes less sensitive to these urgent messages from your body. Picture your heart as having faulty phone reception. When your muscles send signals saying, we need more oxygen, your heart might only receive half the message or respond too slowly. This impaired communication means your heart rate doesn't increase appropriately when you're active. Your heart also becomes less responsive to adrenaline and other hormones that normally help during physical exertion. This leaves you feeling breathless because your heart can't ramp up its performance when your body demands it. This communication breakdown affects your entire cardiovascular system's ability to adapt to changing needs throughout the day. And speaking of communication problems, there's a diagnostic issue that makes everything worse. Diastolic dysfunction has earned the nickname the Great Masquerader because doctors often mistake it for lung problems or dismiss it as normal aging. You might get treated for asthma or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease when the real problem is your heart. Many elderly patients spend months or years getting the wrong treatment because their breathlessness symptoms look similar to respiratory conditions. You might use inhalers that don't help or worry about lung disease when your heart is the actual culprit. This misdiagnosis problem is especially common because diastolic dysfunction doesn't show up on basic heart tests the same way other heart conditions do. You need specific tests, like an echocardiogram, to properly identify the stiff heart muscle problem. Getting the right diagnosis matters because the treatments are completely different. Lung medications won't fix a heart muscle that can't relax properly. The misdiagnosis problem becomes even more complicated when you consider gender differences. 
research shows that diastolic heart problems affect women over 65 much more than men of the same age. The typical person with this condition is a postmenopausal woman around 65 with high blood pressure. After menopause, women lose the protective effects of estrogen on their cardiovascular system. This hormonal change makes heart muscles stiffer and blood vessels less flexible. Women also tend to develop high blood pressure later in life, which compounds the heart muscle stiffness problem. If you're a woman experiencing unexplained breathlessness after age 60, you're statistically more likely to have diastolic dysfunction than lung problems. This means you need to be more assertive about getting proper heart testing especially if doctors try to dismiss your symptoms. Women's heart symptoms also tend to be more subtle than men's, which leads to more missed diagnoses and delayed treatment. The connection between gender and breathlessness becomes clearer when you understand the blood pressure link. Uncontrolled high blood pressure is the most common cause of the heart muscle stiffness that leads to breathlessness in elderly people. Your heart muscle thickens and becomes rigid when it has to pump against high pressure for years. This creates a destructive cycle. High blood pressure makes your heart muscle stiff, which makes it harder for your heart to fill with blood, which makes your blood pressure even higher. Each part of this cycle makes the other parts worse. Many people have high blood pressure for years without symptoms, so the heart damage builds up slowly over time. By the time you notice breathlessness, your heart muscle has already undergone significant changes. Controlling blood pressure can improve symptoms and reduce the risk of heart failure, but the structural changes to your heart muscle are often permanent once they develop. This pressure problem explains why breathlessness tends to get progressively worse over time. Most people start with mild diastolic dysfunction that only causes breathlessness during heavy exertion like climbing stairs or carrying heavy objects. Over months or years, the breathlessness threshold gets lower and lower. You might notice that activities requiring less effort start making you winded. Eventually, you could feel short of breath while walking on flat ground or even while sitting still. This progression often includes other symptoms like swelling in your legs, persistent fatigue, and a nagging cough. The gradual nature of this decline makes it easy to adapt your lifestyle around the limitations. You might start avoiding stairs, parking closer to store entrances, or asking for help with tasks you used to do independently. These adaptations can mask how much your condition has worsened. Many people don't seek medical attention until their symptoms significantly impact their quality of life, which means they miss opportunities for early intervention. What really causes breathlessness in the elderly is often treatable changes in the heart and circulation, rather than aging being the unavoidable culprit. Getting proper testing with an echocardiogram can identify diastolic dysfunction, and controlling blood pressure can prevent the condition from getting worse. Want to know how to keep your heart strong after 40? Watch our next video, 7 Foods You Must Eat After 40 For A Stronger Heart. Backed by real science, these foods can truly make a difference. Be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss out.